What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Mr. Duga, coming at y'all with another episode of Dropping Dimes with Mr. Duga. <laughs> uh, and today, I'm going to take a look at tomorrow's SEC West matchup, big rivalry matchup, as you have the LSU Tigers playing host to the 22nd ranked Auburn Tigers in, uh, in Tiger Stadium, yo. Uh, before I get into this video, for everyone, if you want to give me a follow on my social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, I'm going to have all that information down in the description box. May not always get a chance to respond to questions and comments on these videos, uh, so feel free to DM me. And whenever I get a chance to, I'll get back at you. Come holler at your boy. Also, if you're a Madden 22 player on Xbox One, I'm going to have my Xbox One gamer tag down in the description box also. Uh, so come get at me. Uh, LSU versus Auburn. First off, looking at last week, LSU is 1-0 uh, in the SEC. They go on the road, knock off the Mississippi State Bulldogs. Uh, you know, um, a game that the score um, was a lot closer than the game really was. LSU was pretty much in control of this game at the start of the fourth quarter. Mississippi State got a couple of real, real late touchdowns to make it a three-point game. And LSU hung on at the end to get the win. A good win considering that LSU lost to this team last year and the same coaching staff and style of offense. And defensively, LSU really did their thing. They, they rushed three most of the night, dropped eight, sometimes rushed four, dropped seven. Ran a lot of zone for his uh, Mississippi State quarterback, Rodgers, to make really accurate throws and to be patient. And for the most part, it worked. You know, so LSU gets the road win there. And for Auburn, they, they had a very lackluster performance. They played Georgia State at home, coming off of an emotional, tough, hard-nosed loss on the road to a top-10 Penn State team in a whiteout over there at Happy Valley. And, you know, coming home, that's one of those situations whenever you have uh, a team that's a, a group of five team in the middle of two really big road tests, sometimes you could overlook that team and not really play your best. And it could be a letdown or a trap game. And I thought that was with the equivalent of Auburn last week as Georgia State really took it to them. And old LSU Tiger TJ Finley had to come in and save the day as Bo Nix really, really struggled in this game. And T.J. Finley brought Auburn all the way back to, you know, to win the football game, which leads to the question, will he start uh, in Baton Rouge on Saturday night, which would be make this game even more intensified and just, you know, amp up the rivalry even more. But Auburn's coach hasn't really came out and said that he will or he won't. Uh, so we'll find, I guess we'll all find out together tomorrow night when the game start. Uh, so looking at uh, both teams, looking at whenever LSU on defense versus Auburn on offense, looks like LSU may be without uh, All-American corner Derek Stingley Jr. again. Though the defense did, for the most part, gave up yards, but played okay in his absence. You know, uh... LSU with the defensive line didn't really get a lot of sacks at all really on Rodgers last week as they, they preferred to drop back instead of really go at him. But a team coming in, the D-line that, that get after the quarterback, get some sacks, linebackers that flow side to side a little bit, but not as great against the run. And obviously LSU has a really, really talented secondary going up against Arbin and they're, they're just rushing attack led by uh, Tank Bigsby. It's, it's it's a grind, man. LSU got really ran on by UCLA uh, in the opening game of the season. But uh, Auburn is coming in. Auburn is a different animal. Like Auburn, you would think, got an even more potent rushing attack than UCLA has. So LSU is going to have to stand up and find a way to slow down the run. Now, I don't think Auburn is great throwing the football, especially if they do start Bo Nix over TJ Finley. Uh, so LSU is going to have to stack the box and force Bo Nix to go out there and make plays, throw into the receivers with coverage on our really good corners, even if Stingley is out. So the key for LSU is LSU got to stop the run. LSU stops the run, put Auburn in third and long situations, whether it's Bo Nix or TJ Finley. I like LSU's chances. 
you know, to be successful defensively. Then you look at the other side of the ball when LSU was on offense against Auburn's defense. Auburn, I know they didn't play that well against Georgia State last week. I'm just contributing to it being a letdown. I don't really think Auburn D is bad. They played okay to me against Penn State. Uh, LSU, Max Johnson and those wide receivers, when he has time and he knows where he's going with the football, that's a really good matchup for LSU. Wide receivers like Butte and the young freshmen getting after it. Uh, problem with LSU, though, is running the football. I don't really see LSU having success running the football against a physical defense like Auburn. Uh, as the, and the offensive line has struggled. What LSU got to do is have a quick passing game, get the ball to these wide receivers on the outside and get with, with room to make some things happen and let them make plays. So LSU has to get their wide receivers the football early and often uh, because I don't really think we're going to have great success running the football like that. Uh, which now leads to my prediction. Auburn hasn't beaten LSU since, like, in the 1990s. They've never beaten them in Baton Rouge since the 1990s, which is a crazy st uh, statistic. This is probably one of the most underrated rivalries, I feel like, in the country. I know a lot of LSU fans, we get caught up in Alabama, Alabama, but let me tell y'all, growing up, Auburn, was, Auburn in Florida was the game that we looked forward to every year. So Auburn, we, we got some, especially in Dead Valley, we had some legendary, you know, matchups and memorable matchups against Auburn. It is a very, very, very fun rivalry. The TJ Finley factor makes this thing interesting. If they do indeed start him, um, that's going to make this game even, even, even more intriguing. So that's, we got to look out for that. But, Honestly, with LSU's ability to throw the football with Max Johnson's wide receivers and being at home, like this is the first really big home game uh, since since the 2019 national championship season. Obviously, stadiums were, were less capacity last year. So with it being a full capacity stadium, with LSU playing late at night, which you know we love playing at night in Dead Valley, and Auburn's recent uh, history of struggling in Dead Valley. And I think LSU receivers gonna make plays and play well defensively. Uh, I like LSU winning this game. I'm gonna go, uh, I think it's gonna be pretty kind of handily. I'm gonna go with a score of, I'm gonna go 34 to 23, I think LSU beats Auburn at home to improve to 2-0 in the SEC, which would be a great start, start for LSU considering the opening loss to UCLA. Uh, but with that being said, that's all I got for y'all today. Appreciate y'all checking out the video. Hit the like button for your boy. Give me a subscribe. I'm going to have LSU and NCAA content and all the other team content throughout the year. Uh, also, this Sunday and every Sunday from 10 a.m. Central, to 12 noon central our co-host big time sports talk y'all download the espn 1420 app and check it out our co-host with mike the bandit we're going to get a lot into this lsu game and also on mondays from 6 p.m central to 7 p.m central uh, on the youtube do a live q a y'all come on there ask me anything tell me anything i'll answer your questions respond to your comments and give you a shout out on the live yo y'all should join me it'll be some good stuff until then Y'all have a blessed one. Go Tigers.